हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ज्योति अग्रवाल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट एंड इनडिपेंडेंट वेक्टर्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस सो व्हाट इज द इनर प्रोडक्ट इनर प्रोडक्ट सो हाउ टू डिफाइन ए इनर प्रोडक्ट फंक्शन सो लेट वी बी अ वैक्टर स्पेस ओवर द फील्ड एफ देन अ फंक्शन डिफाइंड एज फ्रॉम वी क्रॉस वी टू एफ विच असाइंस टू ईच पेयर इन वी अ स्केलर देन दिस फंक्शन इज नोन एज इनर प्रोडक्ट इफ इट सेटिस्फाइज द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन अगर कोई फंक्शन जो कि v क्रॉस v से f में डिफाइंड है अगर वो इन कंडीशंस को सेटिस्फाई करे तब हम बोलते हैं कि वो एक इनर प्रोडक्ट होगा देन फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ x प्लस जेड कोमा वाई इक्वल्स टू इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स वाई प्लस इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जेड वाई for all x y z belongs to v that is we can say that if we can separate x and z like this then we say that first condition is satisfy and the second condition is inner product of c x comma y equals to c into inner product of x y that is agar पेयर में फर्स्ट एलिमेंट के साथ में कोई कांस्टेंट आए और उस कांस्टेंट को हम इनर प्रोडक्ट से बाहर ले पाएं देन सेकंड कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइज देन द थर्ड कंडीशन इज इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स वाई का कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट इक्वल्स टू इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाई एक्स वेयर बार रिप्रेजेंट द कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट एंड द फोर्थ कंडीशन इज इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो फॉर एक्स नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो इफ दीज कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड देन वी से दैट दिस फंक्शन रिप्रजेंट ए इनर प्रोडक्ट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड if v is a vector space and this function is a inner product which is defined over v then they together represent as inner product space agar v koi vector space ho aur ye function koi inner product ho to in dono ko ek sath mein inner product space bolte hain for example let v equals to r ki power n and f be a field of real number and if we take two vectors x y belongs to v where x is a set of n tuples and y is a vector of n tuples then the we define the inner product x y like summation i 1 to n x i y i which is equals to x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on plus x n y n here we have to prove that this v is a inner product space so how to prove it so to prove this this question first of all we satisfying all the conditions of inner product space so let's move to the next slide then first condition is inner product of x plus z comma y if we take this then by applying a definition which is says in the question summation i 1 to n x plus z i y i if we Uh, do some calculations after that we get the inner product of xy plus inner product of zy which is true by the definition of inner product similarly if we take the second condition if we take the second condition then second condition is if c belongs to f then inner product of cx comma y equals to summation i 1 to n cx i into y i then we can separate it like this then we get c inner product of xy which is true by definition similarly if we take the third condition which is the inner product of xy ka complex conjugate then we get inner product of yx which is the third property let's move to the next slide now the fourth condition is if we take inner product of x and x then we get summation i 1 to n mode of xi ka whole square which is not equals to 0 if x not equals to 0 so fourth condition is also satisfied so we can say that given vector space is a inner product space similarly if fn is an arbitrary vector space over field f which is real or complex then this relation defined the inner product
let's move to the next slide now we discuss some properties of inner product then let x y z belongs to v and c belongs to f and this function defined as inner product then first property is inner product of x comma y plus z equals to inner product of x y plus inner product of x z we can prove it like this if we take inner product of x and y plus z then by the definition of inner product we can write it as inner product of y plus z comma x ka complex conjugate then by using the third condition we can separate it like this inner product of y x ka complex conjugate plus inner product of z x ka complex conjugate then again by using definition we get inner product of x y plus inner product of x z the second property of inner product is inner product of x comma c y equals to c bar inner product of x y we can also prove it as if we take inner product of x and c y then we get by definition we can write it as inner product of c y comma x ka complex conjugate again by using the definition of inner product we can uh, remove c from function then we get c and y x ka complex conjugate then we get c bar inner product of x y so let's move to the next slide third condition is third property is if we take in the pair one zero vector that is inner product of x and zero equals to inner product of zero and x equals to zero for all x belongs to v ke liye we can prove it like as if we take inner product of x and 0 then we can write it as x comma 0 plus 0 and by definition we can separate it like this now applying the cancellation law we get inner product of x and 0 equals to inner product of 0 and x equals to 0 similarly the fourth property is inner product of x and x equals to 0 if and only if x equals to 0 this is very simple we can also prove it by using the definition and the last property is inner product of x y equals to inner product of x z implies y equals to z we can also prove it like this if we take inner product of x y minus inner product of x z equals to 0 then by applying the definition we get inner product of x and y minus z equals to 0 which is possible only when when y minus z equals to 0 which implies that y equals to z thank you students we will discuss about next topic in the next lecture thank you